everyone, we're going to find the area of the figure and round decimal answers to the nearest tenth. And this video is on these three problems. And I already did the video that should be on top of this video. So let's get started. Um, for this one, I know that this length here is 26 because these are perpendicular lines. So this is 26. And I know these two sides are congruent. So that means if the whole length is uh, uh, tw 62 meters, I'm going to take 62 minus 26 to get the other length. So 62 minus uh, 26 is 36. That means each of these, uh, if you divide this by 2, is 18. So this is going to be 18, and this is going to be 18. And I'll just write it bigger. So you have uh, 18 plus your 26 plus another 18 equals um, your 26. We also know that um, this these sides are going to be congruent because of your perpendicular lines here. So this is going to be 30 here. So what I need to find is the height right here. So you're going to find this height. I'm going to do uh, C squared equals uh, A squared minus, um, not C squared, but I need to know my b squared is c squared minus a squared. So I have 18. My b squared is going to be 30 squared minus your 18 squared. So let's see what that is. Uh, this is 900 minus 18 squared is 324. So uh, take this, uh, subtract that from 900 and you're going to get b squared equals 576. Now let's take the positive square root of both sides. So square root of 576 is 24. So b equals 24. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the triangle. So this is 18. This is 30. And this is going to be, um, the height is going to be, what, 24? There. So to take uh, the area of that, area is going to be 1 half base times height. 1 half of 18 is 9, so that's going to be 9 times 24. So 9 times 24 is 216. That's going to be meters, uh, square meters. But we have two triangles. So we're going to multiply that by 2. So if you multiply this by 2, that's going to be 432 uh, meters, uh, square meters. So that's for the two triangles here. These, uh, I'll do them in yellow. So we got those two areas. Now i got to find um, the area of this rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is length times width. So we know that uh, we have 24 is the length. So area equals 24 times 26. And 24 times 26 is 624. Now you just have to add these two together and get your total area. So let's just go ahead and add the 432. And, and when you add that, you're going to get a total area. I'll put total here. Equals 1,056 square meters. All right, the next one. <coughs> we have... Um, this whole length is 13, 
Um, and I know this is 3. So this has to be 10. Because 3 plus 10 equals your 13. All right. And this uh, length we have is 4. So let's just take the uh, area of that. So the area of that rectangle is length times width which is just going to be 3 times 4, which is 12 square inches. So we took care of this, this piece here. Now we have to find the hypotenuse. No, we don't. Uh, for this one, we just take the area of this triangle. So the area of that triangle is 1 half base times height. So that's going to equal 1 half your base is 10 times 4. So 1 half of 10 is just 5. So that's 5 times 4, which equals uh, 20 square inches. Now to get your total area, you add them up. You add your uh, 12 square inches plus your 20 square inches and you get 32 square inches. Okay, and now for the last one. All right, so we have uh, congruent sides. So this is 20 feet. This is 10. Um, uh, we don't know what that is. We know that this is 10. So let's find this height here because we want to take an area of this triangle here. So if this is 10 and we have 16 here, we're going to use this little triangle here, the 16 and 20, to find this side. Um, and if you divide this by 4, so if you take 16 and 20 and divide it by 4, you get 4 and 5. So basically, this is a Pythagorean triple. And if you multiply 3 times 4, you get 12. So let me uh, rewrite this again. So just look at uh, our triple, so I don't have to keep doing the Pythagorean theorem. 3, 4, 5. You multiply this by, uh, whoops, by 4, you get 12, 16, 20. So we have the 16 and the 20, but we don't have the 12. So this height here is going to be 12. All right. So now to, to, um, to take care of this, these two sides are congruent. So let's take the area of this triangle, and that's going to be one half base times height. Our height is 12, and our base is going to be 16 plus 10, which is 26. So we're going to get uh, 6 times 26. Because one half of 12 is 6. So 6 times 26 is going to be 156 uh, square feet. And that's for this uh, triangle here. Now since these all sides are congruent here, this has to be uh, perpendicular, then that means this is the same. This is going to be 12. So this height is going to be, um, uh, let's see, this is also going to be, um, what is it? Uh, what was it, 12? So when you do that, you're going to get... Um, you just multiply this by 2, and you get 156 uh, square feet times 2. 
and that's going to be three areas going to equal 312 square feet and that's it thank you have a nice day bye bye